Hi, this is Linda Whitup, Director of Technology Services at Tech Impact. Today we'd like to show you a little bit about Delve. Delve is a Microsoft application that comes with Office 365 Online. The reason that we're showing it to you today is because there are many Office 365 users who are not aware that Delve comes with their subscription. So we'd like to show it to you. Microsoft Delve is an application that you can find in your tile. So if we go to the Office 365 tile, we can look right at the Delve tile. And when we click on that, it brings us to our home screen. And our Delve home screen shows us things that are popular documents and other features. So here's my home page in Delve. <coughs> And you can see that the popular documents that show up here are from my coworkers. So Omar has uh, modified a document showing IP addresses. Lauren Cannon emailed a, an attachment. So that attachment came as an email into my Outlook inbox. And here it shows up right here. So I don't have to search my inbox and go try to find that attachment. It actually shows up in my popular documents. We can see that Becca Johnson modified a document for a grant overview that she's working on. And it, uh, some of these documents are attachments to my Outlook email. Some of these documents are saved in my OneDrive for Business. And yet others that are modified or, or written by my coworkers are stored in our SharePoint Online document libraries. What I like about Delve is that Delve gives me quick and easy access to documents that were modified or created by my coworkers without having to go search for them wherever they've stored them in SharePoint or they've emailed them as an attachment to me. They're, they'll all show up right here. So let's take a look at Delve and show you a little bit more. So we're looking at my home screen. I have my home screen set up so that it shows me popular documents. So for instance, my coworker Elizabeth Levy stops me, stops me here in the office and says, Hey Linda, by the way, I just updated that client info document. What I can do is I get back to my office. All I have to do is click on Liz's name here. And what it brings up is Liz's Delve page. I can see her picture. She put, chooses to put a picture up here of herself. I can Skype chat her right away. But I can also say, oh, she told me about that client info document. Well, look, here it is right here. I can actually click on that and open it right up and take a look at the updates that she made. So this is available to me because I have access to the same file, the same document library in SharePoint that she saved this. So you can see that it's in a, in a document library. It says MS and Infrastructure, and that's where she saved this document. So let's take a look at some other things that we can do with documents in Delve. For instance, if you look at that same document, you'll notice that it says MS and Infrastructure. Again, that's where it's saved on SharePoint online. But it's also in this. And this little thing here says Client Info Board. That's a board that I created. And if we look here and click on the Client Info Board, it will take me to other things that I've put into my in Client Info Board. We're going to look on the left-hand side of the screen here, and you'll see that I have actually created two boards, one called Client Info, another called Office 365 Roadshow. And what I do is when I find documents that suit that grouping, I can go ahead and, and say that this goes into one or the other. So let's take a look at how we do that. So I'll click on Mark Mason's name. And I'll look at a document. So here's a document that I might want to pin to the client info board. It's called uh, Lower Cost and Improved Productivity. So again, what I can do here is click on that and then just add to board. So what board do I want it to add to? Client info. I want to add the client info board and then now it's on the client info board. Again, we'll go back over here on the left, click on client info, and there it is. That's our new our latest document that's added to the client info board. This is a great way to get around having to search for documents. Again, Outlook, OneDrive, where did I put it last? 
Who cares? If you pin it to a board, all you need to do is go to your Delve and click on your board, and there are all the documents that you have associated. Another aspect of Delve Online is that I can create a profile. This is my Delve board. So I just clicked on the me icon on the left-hand side, and you'll see that I've got my own space here. And I can do things in, in my space like create a pro, an online presence or online profile. This is great for organizations that have users that either a lot of users in the organization or users that are dispersed all over the office or all over the country like we are. Um, gives a sense of I can look up somebody on that I work with, a coworker, and say, oh, look at that. I didn't know. Oh, there's her cell phone number. Uh, there's my cell phone number. Oh, here are some of the projects that I'm known for around the office, Microsoft Office 365, Managed Services, <clears throat> the colleges that I went to, my skills, public speaking, my interests. I also see my organization chart. So I can see we can see that I report to the executive director and Liz Levy reports directly to me. I can also create blog posts if I want to. I haven't gotten that far yet, but we can go ahead and do that. All of the people in my office and my, my coworkers are available to me. So I'm looking here on the right-hand side of my screen. I'm going to click Select All. So any of these people, if I wanted to know more about my coworkers, I could go ahead and just click on one of them. So I click on Ebony, and I can see what Ebony has been working on lately. I can see Ebony's profile if she chooses to create one. So it's a great way for us to collect, get more in line and in tune with our coworkers around the office. So that's one more aspect of Delve that we really like.